What's going on guys? Gomer's here and we're back and we're gonna try to be as quiet as possible in this one. We have, uh, which is a tall task because we have a very exciting topic to uh, discuss. Team Affinity Season 5 is, you know, a lot of like canned or pantry goods. Uh, they last a while because hopefully uh, this should maintain nourishment for us for quite some time because lord knows when we're going to get new content but we have tons of great cards uh yeah, spectacular we're gonna rate them from w mid to l tier in this one so uh comment below who you guys think the best team affinity season five cards are leave a like if you guys enjoy it as always that would be much appreciated and subscribe to the channel well you guys yeah i mean you're already looking down there if you're gonna leave a like so why not hit that subscribe button checks past 30 seconds damn it hey, here we go so team affinity season five um a lot of good cards a lot of uh you know mid and a few wells uh like we talked about uh but don't want to give away the Krabby patty secret formula here we're gonna go with the orioles uh or rather in the ale east the w tiers uh brandon lau no doubt is a w tier if i've ever seen one and that's no bias as a Rays fan here either. 107 and 100 contact is uh, less than ideal, to say the least. 125, 114 power is uh, more than one might ask. A uh, good amount, you know, max against right. He's hard to get too much more. 85 fielding, 92 arm can play corner outfield somewhat well with 67 speed. He's going to have a bit of an issue, but... Uh, second baseman, uh, great swing. You know, of course, uh, lefty fetishist right here happily admit that uh, Brandon Lau is going to be quite a good card to see no doubt uh, otherwise Marcus Simeon I would also consider to be W tier although he also has low contact which makes me have low testosterone really not a fan of that right there 92 feeling 72 arm as well like what the hell uh, little little sour taste in my mouth when I gave that a gander the first time around and then these cards are all going to go in mid tier in my opinion Mount Castle uh, again, kind of like Lau, he can play left field, but is he going to play it all that well? 69 arm, uh, not great. The contact is good enough, power's good, that's going to be a constant. It's not really going to be too much of a praise to have high power in these Team Affinity Season 5 cards. Jay Dizzle, uh, high contact, high power, low, well... 77 fielding isn't exactly low for JD Martinez. That might as well be platinum glove when it comes to his typical cards. And then Garrett Cole, uh, always a very well respected player across the league. Uh, 104 hit, uh, you know, Yankee fans have jokes, non Yankee fans have jokes. A weird time. He has uh, a sinker, uh, knuckle curveball, uh, but only 104 hit per nine, alas which makes him mid, unfortunately. Uh, better pitchers in there, and of course, as I mentioned in the reveal yesterday, uh, they, they really didn't blow my socks off in terms of pitchers. I thought they uh, left a lot to be desired, a lot because of that hit nine attribute, but there certainly is some good ones, and one of which would be Emmanuel Classe, who is going to go in the W tier right here. Three pitches, but quite good, quite fast. Um, the cutter's going to have outlier one, so it's going to come in 99 alongside the four-seamer slider, 99 break on everything except the fastball of course which i was uh, i knew ahead of time was seeing if you guys knew 122 hit per nine 102 k per nine 105 bb9 um and then good control rounds out for a really good card so that's going to be in the w tier and then the rest we're going to have hitters here uh salvador press w tier for sure his ninth uh 95 overall plus diamond but damn it he deserves it 105 119 against righties 120 125, nearly maxed out against lefties. Hard to get too much better. Um, speed, uh, surprising, 43. You'd think it'd be three for Salvador Perez. Uh, the fielding uh, could say the same right there. 85, uh, arm strength, 84 block. Not too bad at all. Uh, really good shit, in my opinion. Uh, Jorge Polanco, also W tier. This one is biased, I'll tell you. It's probably more like mid plus. <laughs> 106, 112 contact, 117, 109 power. Uh, 80 fielding. 80 arm, 74 speed, can play middle infield, plus 3B. Good card, switch hitter, like it, twin as well. One of the one twins that was good last year. And then Heimer Candelario, I'm going to put in the uh, mid-plus tier, kind of as well. Uh, we'll talk about mid-minus version of Heimer Candelario, Yon Moncada. 107, 112 contact, and then 100 power aside, 84 fielding, 84 arm, 61 speed, can play third and first, again, a switch hitter. Another switch hitter right here, but he is, I don't know, just not a big a fan is Yomon Kata. 
Uh, the contact is a little less, very comparable. It's like the same thing. The fielding is practically the same as well. They're essentially the same card on second glance. So they're both in mid plus. Uh, let me adjust my rating right there. Um, so that's what I mean when I say we need more attributes for diversity. And I know you guys told me to look at quirks, so I'm gonna remember that from here on out, all right? So Kyle Tucker, wow, look at those quirks. Dead Red, Night Player, and Fighter. Woo wee, 112, 120 quirks do matter. I sh I'm not joking about that. Uh, 120, 117 contact is great. This is one of the best cards uh, in Team Affinity Season 5. One of the best outfielders in the game right now. Lefty swing, uh, 68 speeds, the only downside to it. Can play up to 73 at parallel 5. Um, but out of the box, this is one of the best hitters that we have in the game for the Astros Team Affinity. Uh, Rysel Iglesias left a little to be desired right here. He's going to wind up like in mid minus just barely hanging on to a thread on mid um because he just doesn't excite me i think there's a lot better relievers 112 hit nine is not as good as a lot of relievers that we have in the game that you can get in you know like five minutes or for 5k stubs um four seam slider change up sinker he has pretty good control, pretty good break at all those. No outlier on any of those pitches. Um, so not bad at all. Mid, I'm going to say. Uh, but that's just in ranking with these other Team Affinity cards. This is certainly not a bad card otherwise. Uh, Frankie Montes, that's, you know, kind of leading into him because he's going to go into L tier. 103 hit nine, four pitches. You know, there's not really too much to do with that. There's a lot better pitches uh, in the game, even in this Team Affinity. So why am I going to rank that card high? I'm not, is the thing. Mitch Hanniger, uh, this is a pretty underwhelming uh, AL West division. This card is... Also, he, like he's all right, 100, 113 against righties, 117, 125 against uh, lefties, 82 fielding, not going to get up to diamond, and then 61 speed, which is really going to hinder him in the outfield. So it's, you know, it's cool. It's not a bad card, but at this point of the year, they're certainly better, which is kind of what I'm getting at. Uh, Nate Lau, who was good for, I think I mentioned two weeks, so Gomer overusing jokes again. What do you know? Uh, 103, 102 versus righties 114 101 power uh low on power funny enough which is what he was doing in the first two weeks and uh plays first base and third base lefty swing and eh, it's gonna go in the l tier as well for me unfortunately even though he is a what a one and a half years raise legend crazy the rays have a low a low they have another low and they got rid of a low last year and they have a low payroll, so I, I guess that's the fucking reason why they have that, because they refuse to spend money, but they'll collect all the lows and lows like Thanos, Infinity Gauntlet. Freddie Freeman, WT, by the way. 123, 114, um, splits against righties, 108, 107 against lefties. Good defense, 56 speed, mainly because he can play third at high level as well. You're going to get him up to diamond defense, and he already has 91 plus reaction, which is really important at first base, and a great swing. So he's going to get a little bit of a boost into the W tier. Uh, Sadio Contra, another one I was quite disappointed in just because of the low hit per nine. He is going to bolster pretty good quirks, if I do remember. Uh, nope. Just outlier one, so not really good quirks, but he's going to throw a sinker at 99 miles an hour. Um, otherwise, he has good control. The curveball 82 is still good enough. That's one thing I do like about these finest cards is that they did manage to give them good hit per nine. Um, or, <laughs> no, they didn't. Good control. Good lord. Um, they did not manage to give these guys good hit per nine. Marcus Stroman's going to go in the L tier, uh, which pains me to say because I'm a fan of the guy. Uh, he has good pitch mix, which is very important don't get me wrong it is not all just relying on the hit per nine in order for a car to be good that's not the case um but you would like it to be and especially when you don't throw hard like marcus stroman and all these other finest cards have good control anyway it's not too much of a plus for him to have like 92 plus on all five of his pitches right um so i just think there's better cards 99k per nine doesn't really matter as an attribute but lower than i would like it to be as well zach wheeler um for the phillies 108 hit per nine he's gonna have 98 on the four seam and i believe his sinker is gonna get up to outlier two as well um so i am a fan of this one this one will probably wind up in the uh w tier i i do like this card right here then juan soto uh secret uh 
I think this card is good. 125, 117 against righties, 115, 111 against lefties, 88 fielding, 78 arm, 58 speed, you know, good shit. 93 reaction out of the box, which is going to play quite high. Again, just consider center field isn't an option because it is not. They're fooling you, they're deceiving you to make the dumb mistake to put them in center field and you're gonna pay for it damn it uh but corner outfielder for sure for uh the seventh place voted juan soto for mvp that that shit is ridiculous um if you guys saw the voting ballot uh, patrick wisdom right here he's gonna wind up in the mid-tier low contact maxed out power 92 fielding 76 speed can play third first and corner outfield and actually pretty well he's gonna get up to a uh is he? Yeah, he's gonna get up to a diamond shield. Sorry, brain fart right there. Uh, and good enough speed over 80 eventually if you parallel him up. Jonathan India, rookie of the year. Um, he plays like a rookie in terms of his finest. Just saying, he's gonna be in mid tier. Uh, 104, 105 against righties, 119, 101 against lefties. 82 fielding, 82 arm, 82 speed. Good. It's like a solid card. It's like the Bo Bichette a lot. Uh, Corbin Birds, this is W tier, no doubt. 114 hit per nine. Sinker cutter combo. Apparently, he is the outlier on the sinker, which you guys told me, which is very intriguing. And he also has good quirks. Home body, Dame player, uh, and stopper, which are good to see. And, uh, of course, if the card needs to be any better, the control is high, the break is high. Uh, Corbin Burns is great. The best pitcher in this... Uh, you know, bundle for sure. Brian Reynolds, this is like a top five card. 116, 123 contact, 109, 103 power. A little low, but still not too low. In a good spot. 97 fielding, 81 arm, 86 speed. No knocks. Switch hitter, uh, great swing. Nearly maxed out contact right away. Power is going to get over at 110 and 105, respectively. And up to 90 fielding with, uh, or max fielding in center field with 90 plus speed. Get out of town. That's crazy. Paul Goldschmidt, 109, 125 contact, 106, 117 power, 88 fielding, 48 speed. Good card. Not much else to say. Mid tier. Uh, I like it. I, I am a fan. NOS, gonna give this one a give this one a look see here. Gonna speed through a little bit. Uh Cattel Marte is really good. 112, 125 against uh contact. One, Jesus, 124, nearly maxed out, splits against left-handers. Uh, 87 fielding, can play a lot of spots, 85 arms, 70 speed. Thumbs up for me, W tier, CJ Crone, unfortunately, L tier. Uh, they should have gave him the POTM. It was going to be a better card, just because the speed is low, the fielding's okay, and the hitting's good, but there's a lot of first basemen. Max Muncy's better, you know, W tier. Pretty much maxed out power, 113 contact against lefties. I'm deceived him. I'm hurt by the 101 against righties, to be fair. 95 fielding can play second, third, and first. 60 speed. Tatis, max power. 110, 116 contact can play every spot. Catcher, if you ask nicely. Uh, 95 fielding, 99 arm, 95 speed. Fuck. Brandon Crawford, really good as well. 123, 105, 110, 108 power. 99 fielding, 85 arm, 38 speed. Uh, good card. W tier as well for me. Um, really good stuff. Team Affinity 5 is uh, easily the best cards of any Team Affinity set this year. <laughs> High praise. Uh, really good stuff. Going to have a lot of debuts coming forward. Let me know in the comments section which cards are your favorite. Sorry. Video is kind of weird. Leave a like if you guys enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow.